that after 9-11, there was a new entry in the most 20 common questions, the word jihad. So when the new entry comes, the last one goes away. So previously in the book which I wrote before 2001, the 20th one is the non-Muslims object that why do you call non-Muslims as kafir? Now it is out of the list. You know, normally you have the important misses. So today I would call it the important misses, which is no longer in the list. But I'll give the answer because the answer is short. Many non-Muslims say that why do the Muslims abuse us by calling us kafir? The reply to this question is, what is the meaning of the word kafir? Kafir comes from the Arabic root word kufr, which means to reject, which means to conceal. In Islamic context, kafir is a person who rejects the truth of Islam. So if I have to translate into English, in common English or layman's English, kafir means a non-Muslim. So if I call the non-Muslim a non-Muslim, in Arabic I say kafir, why should he feel bad? Why should he feel offended? And if they say that, why do you call us kafir? The only way I can stop calling you a kafir is if you accept Islam. Then I say you're not a kafir, you're a Muslim. That was in brief regarding the replies to the common questions. And now, inshallah, as suggested, we'll have an open question answer session. And I request that to give more chance to the non-Muslims so that we give them the first chance. And any question on Islam and comparative religion, any questions that you have regarding Islam, any misconception, any queries, you're most welcome to ask.